Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am once again looking at VQ GAN clip, but this time on that other operating system. Yes, it's Microsoft Windows, so if you're one of those Windows users and you are a little bit confused about what you need to do to get all of this running, then this one is for you. So here we are, requirements, Microsoft Windows 10. Okay, that's a fairly easy one. An NVIDIA GPU, also quite an easy one, but do make sure you have at least 8 gig of RAM. There's a little bit of information here on these sorts of images that you can create, the sizes there. Uh, there are a few other options as well, such as the number of cuts, which uh, affect VRAM usage. But uh, with the defaults, that's the, the sort of typical image size you could expect to be able to create. Um, you will also need to pick a working directory. That's basically just somewhere where you're gonna keep all the files and all your images and videos and stuff. So yeah, all pretty easy. Right, now the first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need some GPU drivers. Now, if you haven't already installed your NVIDIA GPU drivers, then you've probably been wondering why nothing actually really works properly. So hopefully, hopefully you will have done this already. Uh, if you need links for any of these things, they are, of course, down in the description. So this gives you loads of little things you need to answer, product type and series and product and all that sort of stuff. So you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm a GeForce and I'm, I'm all this and I'm I'm using Windows 10. It doesn't matter between the download types, honestly, and uh, I'm using English. You can search, that will find you a driver. You can click download, and then once you click download again, that will start downloading it. If you're using Chrome like I am, there'll be a little box down there and you can click on it and open it. Or if you've utterly forgotten where you downloaded it to, you can press Control J in Chrome and that'll give you a little list of all the downloads and you can click on it there and install it that way. So hopefully though, you will have already done all that. You would have already installed all your drivers because the next couple of things are going to be pretty much exactly the same. So the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit, you will also need that. And there are the instructions, CUDA installation guide for Microsoft Windows. So just spend a couple of seconds reading through all that and you will be done. Okay, just kidding. You don't actually need any of this. You don't really need Visual Studio. That's for a few other bits that we're not going to use. All we really need is this little link here, the developer.nvidia.com slash CUDA downloads. And there you go. So this gives you a thing. Operating system, let's click on that. Gives you Windows. Architecture, you've only got one choice. Version 10, I'll have an XE please because I'm like that. And then download. Again, I'm not going to download it because it's 2.8 gig. Once you have downloaded it, you can start it at XE and then just follow the on-screen prompts. There you go. You've installed the CUDA toolkit. Now, you can also do this with Conda. If you, if you don't want to download a 2.8 gig thing, it, you, you still have to download it with Conda, but it's, you know, <laughs> then specific to that environment. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is this is like the system wide one, so I like I like doing this um, so that I don't have to keep installing Conda toolkits in different environments. So that is my suggested way, and then you can install uh, various things with pip, as they are nice and statically linked. So the next thing you need is Anaconda. This gives you your Python virtual environments. This is Anaconda Individual Edition. Mm. So there, as you can see, you click on the download. Yeah. And, and, and that'll do the same thing. It'll download an exe, you double click the exe, and then once it's installed, you can start it by uh, doing the little search. You've got a little search bar down there next to your Windows icon. You can type in Anaconda Prompt. I know, right? So we'll put that there. And uh, then you see you've got two different versions. You've got the Anaconda Prompt and the Anaconda PowerShell Prompt. I'm just using the, the Anaconda Prompt because, well, it doesn't really make that much difference so there you go right so we've started your with the uh, anaconda prompt then you can see there you're in base uh, and uh, i haven't actually changed to my little working directory yet so i'm going to do that now so my one is called github there you don't have to call it the same thing but i'm calling it that because well I, i'm good at names right so there the next uh, couple of things that are slightly different with windows compared to linux um is that windows uh, doesn't have git by default uh, so we're going to use Git in Anaconda. Um, I think Anaconda comes with it by default, but if it doesn't, you can just Conda install Git. And also, uh, Windows doesn't have FFmpeg by default either. Uh, so we're also going to Conda install that. 
Uh, and that, that's about the only difference between Linux and Windows, really. Right. So let's create our new Conda environment. There we are with Conda create minus minus name. And you can give it any name you like. I've decided to call it VQGAN because, again, like I say, I'm, I'm good at names. And uh, here we are using Python 3.9. So that'll take a few seconds to activate. But uh, oh, there we go. Say yes, please. That'll do it. And uh, sorry, to, to create. Uh, and then once we've created it, uh, we will need to activate it. So let's just wait for this to do its thing. Preparing transaction. Done. Verifying transaction. Done. Come on, you can execute it. <laughs> there we go. Right. So to activate this environment, use Conda Activate VQGAN. All right. I've used Conda Activate VQGAN. There you go. So it's changed from base to VQGAN. We, we now have our new virtual environment. Right. So as mentioned, um, Windows doesn't have Git by default, but you've got it, got it in Conda. So we will Git clone. There we go. We have downloaded the repo. So let's change directory into there. There we go. Right. So that's, that's downloaded all the stuff in there, all those files. So we are now ready to do the rest of it. Right. So let's do this pip install of torch. There we go. Pip install torch. That will take a few seconds. Uh, and uh, you can get that from the, the PyTorch website here. So let's get started. Start locally. PyTorch build 1.9. Yes. I'm using Windows. Yes. Now, if you didn't install the Conda toolkit, then as you can see here, you can pick Conda, sorry, <laughs> a CUDA toolkit. Uh, you can pick Conda, Python, and uh, you can see there in the instructions, it's it's going to install the Conda tool, uh, CUDA toolkit for you using Conda, and the same with CUDA 11. It will uh, install the CUDA toolkit for you. So you don't necessarily need to, but then it's only limited to that uh, particular environment. I like installing it system-wide, so to speak. And then I can use the command pip, there we go. So there's the version that I used. Pip install torch 1.9, Huda toolkit 11, and all that other stuff. So uh, that's that's quite a big download. I think that's about uh, uh, three gig there, it says. So yeah, that's uh, it, it's quite a big download. Right, I'll just uh, wait for that to finish. Okay, so now we've installed PyTorch. We need to install the rest of the things. So this is slightly quicker, but uh, I will just modify time again while that uh, does its thing. Okay, so let's install those packages. And as mentioned before, we're just going to add FFmpeg to this one as well, because Windows doesn't have that. There we go. Yes, please. Right. Okay, and now we are ready to do these other Git clones. So this is OpenAI clip. Pop that in there as well. And the same with Taming Transformers. There we go. So we've got the Git clone for that too. Now, as mentioned here, you can install uh, this using pip as well. Uh, but if you do the instructions on the website, that will force PyTorch 1.7.1. And we've already installed 1.9. Um, pip install taming transformers will also work, um, but not currently with uh, Gumball quantization models, but never mind. So if you don't want to do the Git clone, you can do the pip install. They, they will both work. Now, we'll also need to have a model. So we're going to make this new directory here using the mkdir command. There you go, checkpoints, right. So I've created a new directory to save those checkpoints in, and I will now need to download them. Now, one thing to note is that on here, uh, this URL down here on my Microsoft Windows system said, no, that's that's a virus. You can't download a YAML file from there. That's, that's too dangerous. It'll infect your computer with things. Um, so I used a different URL for that one. That's just the, the same one off uh, the links here. But yes, these models, pre-trained models. Uh, so you've got a bunch of pre-trained models there. Now, if you don't want to use the curl command, uh, this one I'm using here, uh, VQGAN ImageNet F16 16384. Click on that. And then you can download a little zip or you can download the checkpoint. That's a little download button there. So if you don't want to use curl, you can just click on those and, and download them all as well. So that's... Uh, just download this. I am going to use curl because it's just as easy to copy and paste and to click on things and rename them because you will need to make sure that the names match there. So checkpoints VQGAM image net F16 16384. Right, there you go. So once that has downloaded, then then you're done. You've, you've completed the setup. You've created your new Conda environment, your PyTorch installed, all these other bits. Uh, you've git cloned clip 
and taming transformers. You've downloaded a model and, and that's it. You're, you're ready to run. So uh, then I can do things like this uh, painting of a fruit bowl. It'll, it'll take a few seconds to download this because it's uh, 900 meg. So uh, let me just modify time again slightly. There we go. So that one's done. So now we can do our generation. There I'm generating painting an apple in a fruit bowl. It'll take uh, a few seconds. And the very first time you run this, it will have to download some stuff. You can see there downloading VGG Elpis model and uh, things like that. But uh, it'll only do that once. And then the next time you run it, it will be a lot quicker. So there you go. It's generating using my prompt. And uh, yeah, have, have fun using all the other commands there. You can generate your Zoom movies and do your style transfer and all that sort of stuff. So there you go. BQGAN clip running on Microsoft Windows. Hmm.